Space researchers have been looking for methods to traverse space at light speed for eons. All the known methods have significant drawbacks, but scientists have discovered a new way that might change space exploration forever, as we might soon travel at the speed of light. Before you start packing your bags for a weekend trip to the moon, let us understand the basics. So, how fast is light? The speed of light traveling through a vacuum is 299,792,458 meters per second, or 983,571,056 feet per second. So how much is that in miles, slash, kilometers? Light covers the distance of 186,000 miles, or 300,000 kilometers in just one second. That's why when you turn on a light bulb in a dark room, it instantly brightens the whole room. Now, coming back to traveling in space, the unit of measurement commonly used for it is light year. Light year is the distance that light can cover in a year, which can surmount to 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers. This is how astronomers and physicists measure the cosmic distance across the universe. Proved by Albert Einstein, that light is only constant and not a relative force in the universe. If humans wanted to travel to the moon with our current technology, it would take three days, but at the speed of light it would take just one second, meaning that the moon is one light second away. Another example is, our sun's light takes eight minutes to reach us, meaning that the sun is eight light minutes away. So in that sense, the light from our nearest star system Alpha Centauri takes roughly 4.3 years to reach us, that's 4.3 light years. But with our current technology, it would take thousands of years to reach such a destination. Now you can imagine how short we fall to even travel within our own solar system. From the 1960s to 80s, NASA sent humans to the moon. The best we have done is build the International Space Station. But we haven't gone beyond that. With the entry of new space pioneers, Elon Musk with SpaceX, and Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin, they are determined to restart the space age. With goals of sending men flights to the moon, and even planning to send the first scientist to Mars by the 2030s, the major obstacle that we will face will be the distance, the time it takes to reach the destination, and the stress it brings upon the human body. But if we are able to conquer the speed of light, it will solve all the problems in one go, and the universe will be ours to explore. So what are our options? First, we have the warp drive. What warp drive does is compresses the space in front of the spaceship and expands it behind the vehicle, creating a manipulation fold in the space-time fabric, allowing it to cover immense distances instantaneously. The theory was first brought up by Mexican mathematician Miguel Alcubierre, his proposal document in 1994 became the reference document for warp drives. The problem with it, it needs a vast amount of energy to manipulate space-time. And to create so much energy, giant-sized reactors will be needed on board, making no difference than the speed we have now. That problem, too, has been overcome by Dr. Harold G. Sunny White when he updated the design of the warp drive by introducing a type of propulsion system that requires no fuel at all, only negative or exotic energy. But such energy did not exist in 2010, but then in 2021, White proved the existence of negative energy via the Casimir effect. The amount of energy isn't sufficient to power a spaceship weighing tons, but the technology could be implemented in the future. Another probable technology was the EM microwave drive, which was expected to be the technology that would revolutionize traveling in space. The patented invention by British scientist Roger Scheuer theoretically works by trapping microwaves in a cone-shaped chamber where the bouncing of the waves produces thrust. The EM drive functions on Newton's law, which defines force as rate of change of momentum. So when an electromagnetic wave moving at the speed of light will transfer its momentum to the reflector giving the output of a tiny force. If this tiny force is accumulated in great quantities, it will be a reckoning force that could push forward the idea of space travel without a propellant. While it may sound promising and simple, 
It challenges our understanding of physics. Without the entry or exit of any energy, how are the waves initiated? How are they moving? And where will the momentum come from? Because to create momentum, an explicable push is needed. Hence the M-drive is not taken seriously in the scientific community. Because if the M-drive works, it invalidates what physicists know about the universe. NASA even conducted a test with an engine using EM technology and announced that they achieved success several times. Even scientists from China claimed to successfully test such an engine. Later, the EM drive was put to test at Dresden University of Technology. The results turned out to be quite the opposite of what the Chinese and NASA claimed. They informed them that there was something wrong with their tests as even after multiple attempts, the M-Drive failed to give results. Since then, NASA has not responded regarding results from Dresden, nor have the Chinese. Now the hope lies upon Dr. Eric Lentz, a physicist with 10 years of practical applications, who has reignited the interest in warp drives with a new concept that challenges the other existing ones. In an artificially generated warp bubble, it's the universe that moves, not the spaceship. So in a warped spacecraft, passengers would not notice much movement of their interstellar journey. Will Dr. Eric Lentz deliver a warp drive? Let's see. When compared to classic Lal QB air drive, on which all other concepts have been derived, sets the base of what a warp drive could do. That is, contracting the space in front of the transport and expanding the space immediately behind. Lentz's variation seems more viable as it is rooted in conventional physics. It differs as the energy around the warp bubble in the conventional method is the energy, and curvatures are separated by a huge margin. Where the energy is being restricted to a small torus between the regions of high contraction and expansion. But in Lentz's proposition, the curvatures and sources are highly correlated. With the regions of high energy density, high expansion and contraction overlapping identically. Lentz's drive does not have the need of negative or exotic energy at all. He found the solution in Einstein's field equations, which can be used to understand how certain matter and energy distributions distort space-time. Like Calcubier, Lentz decomposed space-time into stacked layers searching for complex units. Lentz's concept uses positive forces whose existence is already known and available. Even the Swiss research group called Applied Physics uses the same principle and does not use any exotic material to create its warp bubble. But their model could not go beyond the speed of light, but it helps in advancement of space travel. It is these distinctions between Lentz's and other concepts that make Lentz's proposal a more viable warp solution. But even Lentz's proposal is completely theoretical, but seems to be in the right direction and closer to reality. The common issue being in all concepts is reducing the amount of energy needed. Lentz's initial goal is to create a warp bubble that is capable of moving at 1% of the speed of light using a modern day fission reactor. And that too is very fast, as at that speed you can travel from Los Angeles to New York in one second. Even the renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson requested Elon Musk to stop spending money and time on Cybertrucks, Hyperloops or Mars rockets and instead look into developing warp drive. Musk responded by saying that his planned city on Mars will become the driving force to invent warp drive. We have no clue whether SpaceX is working with international scientists to make a warp drive. What do you think will happen? How soon shall we travel at light speed? Pour your thoughts in comments. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Call of the Cosmos, for all fun space-related content, and press the bell icon for instant notification whenever our latest video comes out. You are watching. Call of the Cosmos.